I really hope I kept the first half of that. It's kind of tricky. But I'll catch you up to speed. Remember in the last episode we left off at, this is a Magnetrip Zinsco breaker box. This is a Federal Pacific breaker box. The home inspector doesn't like these boxes. He considers them fire safety hazards. Electric service panels are not supposed to be located in the closed closets. All right, insufficient anchorage. We learned that we've got white hots. Okay, it should be wrapped in black tape. And I get it. Okay, we also learned, because we don't know when it turned off, right? We turned off, right? I mean, said that it should be covered. But we, where we left off, where the battery was exhausted, was we were talking about this gap right up in here. Any sparks inside of this cabinet can go right up through that gap because the cabinet cover, the dead front cover plate goes up to here. The cabinet's recessed in there. It was always a foo paw. Always a foo paw. Then we've added a 40 amp breaker over here. And I'm not sure what that breaker is for because was it for the clothes dryer? We wanted an electric clothes dryer, we wanted a garage conversion or something. Is that what happened? Is this for the air conditioning system? I'm not here to flip because they're not they're not properly labeled. They're not properly labeled. Neither cabinet is properly labeled. I don't know what this is for. We see the way the cables come in here. There's supposed to be a connector on here. See this this conduit right up here? Conduit's coming up here. You're supposed to have a, a connector. And you're supposed to have a connector right there. So we don't have any connectors either. Bonding location's not labeled, although we do know it's on the water heater. And that conduit goes up. Goes up into the attic space. I'm just going to see if I can get a clue. Well, actually, I'm going to go outside and see if I can get a clue. Because I'm thinking that goes to the condensing unit. Again, without turning them off. So what do we learn? We learned we got a Federal Pacific and a Magnatech Sylvania Zensco type breaker. We do not have a main single disconnect. We learned that we cannot energize this system without removing the meter. We learned that the meter is not sealed. We learned that the electric supply conduit does not extend past the roof covering. We learned that we do not have a proper drip loop at the weather bell. We also learned from the roofing video that some of the wires on the surface drop are cracked the insulator wires on them. We learned that we've got white hots. We've learned that the second panel, some people call it the sub panel, the ground and neutral were improperly bonded. They're not supposed to be bonded in this, this panel. They're supposed to be bonded in this panel. A little thing that's not right. Uh, labeling, white hots. Uh, we didn't know what, know what size this is. Isn't that crazy? Oh, that thing just floats in there. This is an anti -Q. Service. Replacement. Highly recommended. If you want to keep this stuff, have an electrician come in here and explain to you why I am an idiot. That needs to be explained to you because... You know, unless somebody can convince you otherwise, 